Well, good evening. It's 720 on Saturday, April 15th. And Luna and I are out here enjoying the evening frog chorus. It's been another very warm day, up around 27, 28 degrees. And the frogs started calling quite early uh, as soon as the warm weather came. Tonight out here by the old pond, we've got three frogs or three amphibians calling. We've got chorus frogs, spring peepers, and toads. The loudest ones here right now are spring peepers with a high peeping note. There's also a grinding little call, and that's the uh, chorus frog. And I don't know if you can hear in the background the toads trilling. But I'll try moving around to a few different locations to try and emphasize some of the particular calls. I've always loved coming out here when the frogs really get going. It can almost deafen you at times. The sound, it just gets in your head and it almost mesmerizes you or hypnotizes you. Especially the spring peepers with their very loud peeping calls. When you get a big chorus of them, it just starts ringing in your brain. Similar to the effect of a whippoorwill, I guess. When you're close to a whippoorwill singing all night long, it almost hypnotizes you. Got some chorus rugs grinding away over here. It's often compared to the sound that you would make by rubbing your fingernail across the teeth of a comb. And that's a really good comparison, I think. If you have a stiff comb and rub your fingernail across the teeth, that's similar to the sound of a chorus frog. It's really nice to see that the old sand pit has so much water in it again. The last few summers have been quite dry and the water levels got very low. Most of the area became totally dry with only a little bit of water remaining in very small areas. But the lower portions of the sand pit are almost flooded in most areas right now. It's 7.30 now and the spring peepers are really getting going. I do hear a leopard frog out there calling as well. The toads were really trilling here this afternoon beside our new pond. I've just come over to sit beside it for a little while to see if they start again. Okay, it's about 7.45 now, and it sounds like the toads are starting to trill more loudly. Probably hear them there.
Well, I think I may wander over towards the central ponds where the most toads seem to be singing. You have to be careful though because they sort of hear you coming and when they hear you coming they tend to stop singing so we'll see if I have any luck in that regard. There's quite a few singing at times but I'm just a little bit far away from them. It's always amazing how when you try and do something like this, recording nature sounds, you always get all the racket on the highway at its utmost worst, it seems. Big trucks rolling down, sirens, Harley Davidson motorcycles flying down the highway. God, all I want is a little peace, peace and quiet. Me and my peepers. That's all we want. Okay, I'm sneaking around some of the sand piles in the central portion of the pit because I hear some good numbers of toads singing up here. Just trying to get a bit closer to them. You can probably hear them trilling there. Hopefully I won't run into a surprised black bear out here. They do cruise through here from time to time. And getting dusk now is probably when they're cruising through. Here at the old pond, the spring peepers are almost deafening. Like I mentioned before, they're just ringing in my head because they're so close. The toads are really trilling now. There's also some close chorus frogs here. Clicking or grinding. They're really going now. Probably about 8.15 or so. Spring peepers mainly here with a few chorus frogs. I've also heard leopard frog and wood frog. But really neat to get out and experience the spring chorus of frogs. If you haven't done that for a while, you should try and get out and experience it because it really is amazing. Well, this was a lot of fun to get right out here and sit down amongst all these frogs again, like I used to do in years gone by. 
hadn't actually done it for a while. So it was nice to get out here and just sit down amongst the spring chorus of all the different frog types. I actually heard probably five different frogs, I think, all together. Part of the appeal of coming out and listening to these creatures too is the knowledge that one of our ancient ancestors was an amphibian that came out of the waters, emerged onto the land, and learned how to exploit the terrestrial environment. And over millions of years, gradually evolved into creatures like us. And that's quite a fascinating thing to think about. But these little guys here, in some ways, are similar to our distant relatives that once emerged from the water to live on the land. So I hope I've maybe given some of you folks uh, an interest in going out to find your inner frog voice and let it speak to you from those millions of years ago.